I don't think anyone saw that coming. Today is all about no room for failure. And what I mean by that? Well, have you ever made something and it didn't turn out as good as you wanted it to? Uh, still cool because it was something you have made, but you could see all the mistakes you have made and you were worried that if you gave it to someone as a gift, they might not like it? Well, that has happened to me too. So today, this gift idea we're making, that it has no room for failure because it's something super easy and it would look as if you got it from, from the store. This DIY is basically all about cheating. First, you will need a jar and a piece of paper that you're gonna cut to fit inside. If you don't want to draw, you can definitely print out something. The point of this is, it could be any kind of design, no matter how complicated, and it's still super easy to copy. And if you want to make it even easier, a good example would be to draw tree silhouettes. jar lid. For this I decided to cover it with polymer clay because it gives you so many options. Start by rolling out a piece that's a little bit bigger than the lid. Then get an object that has a pattern texture. It could be anything. I happen to have this jewelry chest box so I'm using this. If you want to add a bit of shimmer to it, do a light coat with an eyeshadow pigment then press firmly on the clay for a few seconds to create an imprint. And there you have it. A beautiful pattern that took us no time at all, but most importantly, it saved us the hassle. You weren't there, you're all Instead of using my hands to press the clay on the lid, I'm using a plastic bag to avoid getting fingerprints on it or destroying the design. And I also tried applying very little pressure. You can use this technique to create all sorts of things. I thought I'd make just a simple crescent moon charm this time. I followed the exact same steps and then I took a bottle cup and cut it twice like so. In order to make it into a pendant, we have to add an eye pin before we bake it. I made the charm as an example here, but you can use this jar to put any kind of gift that I would fit inside. Whoever receives this, they will love it, because they can use the packaging too. You can hold small items and keep it on your desk or as a candle holder. Watching. I hope you liked this idea. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out when you do that. And maybe you can share this with a friend on social media. Maybe you have a friend who likes to make stuff. If you want to connect with me on social media, you can find me at Mika Sailor on Instagram and Twitter or at Mika Chan Sailor on Pinterest and Facebook. So thank you so much guys for watching once again and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye!